Several parents in the Rogers Park neighborhood are on edge this Halloween, knowing their kids will be trick-or-treating while a killer is still on the loose. CBS 2's V. Wynn is live in Rogers Park where police are stepping up patrols to keep kids safe until that murderer is caught. Good morning, V. Good morning, Marissa and Aaron. Police are doing everything they can to make sure parents and children feel safe this Halloween. Parents can even bring their kids here to the Willie White Park Field House, where officers will park their cars along the street for a trunk or treat. Now, parents can also expect to see more officers on bikes on major roads like Sheridan, Clark, and Devon. Officers in uniforms and officers in plain clothes in unmarked cars. More than a month has passed since the shooting deaths of 73-year-old Douglas Watts and. 24 year old Eli Yahoo Moskowitz. The shootings happened just days and blocks apart. Police even released surveillance video of the gunman and received hundreds of tips in the case, but still no arrest in the case. People in the neighborhood say, with a killer still on the run, they are being more vigilant this Halloween. He's been picking people off alone. So the biggest thing is that you just have to stick with the group. I'm just worried for everyone and everyone's safety. Now, there is a $28,000 reward for anyone with information leading to an arrest in this case. As for the event happening today, it runs from 3 to 5. Reporting live in Rogers Park, V1 CBS 2 News. Marissa, back to you. All right, V, we'll check back with you in a bit. Thank you.